Hey, hi, Sue Moore here, recovered banker and founder of The Moore Connection. Today we're going to talk about listening. And are you listening? Your next sale may depend on it. It might be the times that we're in. Um, I think it probably is. But there are so many distractions that keep us from doing just that. You've got cell phones, you've got tablets, you've got large screen televisions hanging from every square inch in the restaurant. Uh, TV's going. I mean, it's phenomenal. And uh, you just, you're, you might be in a conversation, but there are so many distractions around. It's just really hard to get anything really done um, that's productive. And while your uh, social settings uh, may not uh, uh, have any negative consequence when things like that happen, in a business setting, it could be disastrous for you particularly if it's a brand new relationship, first time you've met, or maybe it's the second time, and he's still or she's still trying to get to know you and whether or not they want to do business with you, uh, it really could be extraordinarily disastrous and end up with them just getting up and walking up, throwing the napkin down, and just saying their good old New York uh, term, forget about it. Anyway, today we're going to get I'll give you six simple steps that you can use at your next meeting that will keep you very focused. And I've got some visual aids for you. Okay, so the first one, and let me see if okay, you can see that. First one is you want to turn your cell phone off. If you're going to be using the cell phone for um, uh, your presentation, keep it in your wallet, or keep it in your pocket or your briefcase until it's time to actually do the presentation. Or I would also add, if you are expecting kind of an emergency call, I would announce that to your guests um, before the luncheon even starts so that they know that you have got something that's going on, okay? Second of all, you might want to do a little reconnaissance and looking uh, at the restaurant uh, before you get there because you don't want to have uh, a table where you can see the TV. You want your sales meeting to be planned and uh, so you can achieve whatever the goals are for that particular meeting. And then you want to always keep your eyes on your guests and not be checking out the waiter or the waitress. I mean, can you say rude? Unbelievable. And then the fourth thing is you want to be able to concentrate on what they're saying. You can see these, yeah, I guess you can see that. Um, don't be jumping at the chance to put forth your presentation. Don't be salesy. Ask lots of questions. You need to find out their pain points. At some point in time, they will ask you about you, and then you're going to be able to fill them in on what's going on with you. The fifth thing is, don't top their stories. Even if you've got a better one, doesn't make any difference. Let them have the limelight. Don't you love this picture? I think it's great. Okay. And then lastly, you don't want to finish. Can you see that? Did I do that right? Okay. You don't want to fin finish other people's sentences. There's nothing ruder than that. <laughs> so in most cases, letting the customer talk and you and you listen uh, combined will come to a very uh, positive winning solution for both of you. At least, hopefully, it'll keep the conversation going at least one more meeting. So that's our little video for today. I hope you got some value out of that. Uh, head on over to my Facebook fan page if you like and like it. Go to my blog at www.seemore.net. Uh, we will see you on the next video. In the meantime, take good care. Bye-bye.